deep in the jungle. In an undisclosed location, Dread Comics is proud to present the 1943 movie serial, The Phantom. The Phantom is an American adventure comic strip, first published by Lee Falk in February 1936. The main character, The Phantom, is a fictional costumed crime fighter who operates from the fictional African country of Bangala. The character has been adapted for television, film and video games. The series began with a daily newspaper strip on February 17, 1936, followed by a Color Sunday strip on May 28, 1939. Both are still running as of 2020. In 1966, King Features stated that The Phantom was being published in 583 newspapers worldwide. At its peak, the strip was read by over 100 million people daily. Falk worked on The Phantom until his death in 1999. Since his death, the comic strip has been written by Tony DePaul. Since 2016, it has been drawn by Mike Manley, Monday to Saturday, and, since 2017, Jeff Weigel, Sunday. Previous artists on the newspaper strip include Ray Moore, Wilson McCoy, Bill Ligment, Cy Berry, George Oleson, Keith Williams, Fred Fredericks. Graham Nolan, Eduardo Barreto, Paul Ryan, and Terry Beatty. In the strip, the Phantom was 21st in a line of crime fighters which began in 1536, when the father of British sailor Christopher Walker was killed during a pirate attack. Swearing an oath on the skull of his father's murderer to fight evil, Christopher began a legacy of the Phantom which would pass from father to son. Nicknames for the Phantom include the ghost who walks. Guardian of the East turned dark and the man who cannot die. Unlike many other superheroes, the Phantom has no superpowers, he totally relies on his strength, intelligence and the myth of his immortality to take action against the forces of evil. The 21st Phantom is married to Diana Palmer, they met while he studied in the United States and they had two children, Kit and Hello Eyes. He has a trained wolf named Devil and a horse named Hero and like the 20 previous phantoms he lives in the ancient Skull Cave. The Phantom was the first fictional hero to wear the skin-tight costume which has become a hallmark of comic book superheroes, and was the first shown in a mask with no visible pupils, another superhero standard. Comics historian Peter Coogan has described the Phantom as a transitional figure, since the Phantom has some of the characteristics of pulp magazine heroes such as the Shadow and the Spider and earlier jungle heroes such as Tars and, as well as anticipating the features of comic book heroes such as Superman, Batman, and Captain America. After the success of Mandrake the Magician, King Features Syndicate tasked Falk to develop a new feature. His first effort was to write and draw a strip about King Arthur and his knights. When King Features rejected the strip, Falk developed the Phantom, a mysterious, costumed crime fighter. He planned the first few months of the story, and drew the first two weeks as a sample. Fascinated by myths and legends, such as King Arthur and El Cid, and the modern fictional characters Zorro, Tarzan and the Jungle Books Mowgli, Falk envisioned the character as wealthy playboy Jimmy Wells by day and the crime-fighting Phantom by night. During his first story, The Singh Brotherhood, before disclosing that Wells was the Phantom, Falk changed the setting to a jungle and made the Phantom an apparently mortal, mythic figure. Thinking that there were already too many characters called the Phantom, including the Phantom Detective and find a name he liked better and decided to stay with the Phantom. In the A&D American cable TV documentary The Phantom, comic strip Crusader, 12, Falk explained that Greek busts inspired him to emit the fandom's pupils when the character was wearing his mask. He incorrectly believed that ancient Greek busts had no pupils, they were painted on originally and faded with time, which he said gave them an inhuman, awe-inspiring appearance. 9. In an interview for Comic Book Marketplace, Falk said the fandom's skin-tight costume was inspired by Robin Hood, who wore tights in films and on stage. Falk was a Shakespeare enthusiast and the comic included several references to Shakespeare. These include the third Phantom playing Juliet in the original premiere of Romeo and Juliet, as well as marrying Shakespeare's niece. The Phantom began as a daily strip on February 17, 1936 with the Singh Brotherhood, 
written by Falcon, drawn by him for two weeks and then by Ray Moore, assistant to artist Phil Davis on Mandrake the Magician. That year, The Phantom was serialized in the Australian Woman's Mirror. A Sunday Phantom strip was added on May 28, 1939. During World War II Falk joined the Office of War Information, where he became chief of the Radio Foreign Language Division. Moore also served during the war and left the strip to his assistant, Wilson McCoy. When Moore returned he worked sporadically on the strip until 1949, when McCoy succeeded him. 19. During McCoy's tenure, the Phantom appeared in thousands of newspapers worldwide and was smuggled by boat into Nazi-occupied Norway during the war. Phantom was a password for the Norwegian resistance movement. McCoy died unexpectedly in 1961. Carmen Infantino and Bill Ligment, who later drew several Phantom stories for comic books, filled in before a successor was found in Cyberry. 21. During Barry's early years he and Falk modernized the strip, laying the foundation for what is considered the Phantom's modern look. Under Barry, Bangal became a democracy and the character of President Laman de Luaga was introduced. Barry worked on the Phantom for over 30 years until his 1994 retirement, drawing a total of about 11,000 strips. His longtime assistant George Ollison remained on the strip as penciler, with Keith Williams inking the daily strip. The Sunday strip was inked by Eric Dosher until Fred Fredericks succeeded him in 1995. Falk continued to script The Phantom and Mandrake until his death on March 13, 1999. His last daily and Sunday strip stories, Terror at the Opera and the Kidnappers, were finished by his wife Elizabeth after her husband pulled off his oxygen mask in the hospital to dictate the storyline. After Falk's death King Features cooperated with European comic publisher Egmand, publisher of the Swedish Phantom and Magazine, which changed from publishing Phantom stories in comic book format to providing the newspaper strip as well, by adapting their own Phantom comic book stories into the strip format. Phantom and writers Tony DePaul and Clays Riemerthy alternated as writers of the newspaper strip after Falk died with DePaul handling the daily strips and Riemerthy the Sunday ones. DePaul would later become the strip's sole writer. Some stories were adapted from those originally published in Phantom N. In 2000, Allison and Fredericks retired from the Sunday strip. It was continued by comic book artist Graham Nolan, who had drawn three Phantom N covers. In early 2005 Allison and Williams left the daily strip after Allison retired and artist Paul Ryan, who had worked on the fandom and comic stories and had been a fan of the character since childhood, took over the daily strip. Ryan succeeded Nolan as artist on the Sunday strip in 2007. On July 31, 2011, Eduardo Barreto became the Sunday page artist. He died after only a few months, and Ryan temporarily took over the Sunday page again on January 15, 2012 which featured a memorial to Barreto. Ryan also did the following week's strip, before Perry Beatty became Barreto's replacement. Ryan died at his home unexpectedly on March 7, 2016. Mike Manley succeeded Ryan as artist on the fandom, beginning with a strip dated May 30, 2016. Beatty stepped down as Sunday artist in 2017, and was replaced by Jeff Weigel. The Phantom is a 1943 Columbia Pictures 15-chapter black-and-white cliffhanger superhero serial, produced by Rudolph C. Flotow, directed by Reeves Eason, and starring Tom Tyler in the title role. It is based on Lee Falk's comic strip The Phantom, first syndicated to newspapers in 1936 by King Features Syndicate. The serial also features John Bates as The Phantom's girlfriend Diana Palmer and Ace the Wonder Dog as the Phantom's trusty German Shepherd Devil, who is a wolf in the original comic strip. Professor Davidson plans an expedition to find the lost city of Zoaz. The location of the city is contained on seven pieces of ivory, three of which Davidson already possesses. Dr. Bremer, however, intends to find the lost city and use it as a secret airbase for his unnamed country. To remove him as an obstacle, he kills the Phantom, only for his recently returned son, Jeffrey Prescott, to inherit the family identity and take over the mantle of the Phantom.
Three of the remaining ivory pieces are owned by Singapore Smith, who initially steals Davidson's pieces. The seventh, and most important, piece is missing at first but turns up in the possession of Tartar, which the Phantom acquires by wrestling Tartar's pet gorilla. The Phantom star Tom Tyler as both Godfrey Prescott and the Phantom. Jean Bates would play Diana Palmer. Like most serials, the Phantom had a low budget. Most of the serial was filmed in the Hollywood Hills, which doubled as the African jungle. For the serial, the Phantom's real name is Jeffrey Prescott. In the comic strip, his real name had not yet been introduced. 1. The Phantom's real name was eventually introduced into the comic strip as Kit Walker. The Phantom tells Singapore Smith to call him Walker when he covers his costume with a hat, dark glasses, and an overcoat so he can enter civilization unobtrusively. And now, Dread Comics is proud to present The Phantom 1943 Serial Chapter 9 The Fire Princess Attempting to stop Davidson from continuing his trek to Zolo's, Dr. Bremer's men prepare an ambush at Matu Pass. The Phantom, after rescuing Diana, races to the pass to warn the expedition. Ah, uh, let's look it up here. This ought to be far enough. Hurry up, fellas. The safari's heading in close to the pass. Good. We're practically set. Now all you gotta do is pull that plunger up and bear down on it. When I give you the signal. at the same time. You get back to the plunger. When I drop my hand, let it go. Get back, danger! Get back! That ought to satisfy Bremer. Yeah, we'll strike him for a raise when we get back. Come on, let's get out of here. Look! Hand them alive! You stay. Moku, help! Master! Moku, come help! Phantom cannot die. You had a narrow escape, man. Yes, indeed it was. The men who are responsible for this explosion are the same gang who attacked you, Doctor. But Diana, where is she? 
Don't worry, she's all right. I left her back on the main trailer with my dog to guard her. I had to travel fast, hoping to prevent this explosion. Well, how did you know the explosion was going to take place? I overheard some of the men talking who had captured Diana. You push on. I'll catch up with you long before you get to the Astari River. I'll go back for Diana now. Good luck, Doctor. See you later, Professor. Come on, Waku. Oh, thanks. I won't forget what you've done for us. Well, I sincerely hope this is the end of our troubles and that we'll find that seven key at the Astara village. For your sake, Professor, I hope so, too. Well, I'd better travel on now. It's still quite a journey from here to the Longa village. Hadn't you better take a couple of our porters? Oh, no, thanks. I'm an old hand of the jungle. This isn't the first time I have traveled alone. Good luck, Professor. Goodbye, Byron. Bye. All right, Larkin. Let's get the porters started. Muluka! Muluka! Who was the fool that talks a lot about dynamiting the pass so the Phantom could overhear it? Well, not us, Doc. We weren't even there at the time. That's just your good luck. Wait till I get my hands on those other morons. It's too bad you still have that Phantom to worry about. I'll take care of him at the same time I eliminate the professor and his party. It's a good thing I had the foresight to arrange a reception for them at the Astera village. Can we come along and see the fireworks? No, you go back and join the others. Then all of you go on to Zolas. I'll meet you there in a few days. Come on, give me a hand here. Pleasant journey, Doc. I'm getting tired. Let's have a rest. Bunda, Bunda. There's something creepy about this part of the jungle. What do you mean? No sounds, no life. It's just dead. Don't worry. Diana will be here shortly to cheer you up. I wonder what's keeping her and the Phantom. They're traveling light. They should have made better time than we did. There's nothing to worry about. All this territory belongs to the Astari tribe. They're very friendly. I hope you're right. They've been under the Phantom's rule for years. I'm getting hungry. Let's start a fire and prepare some food while we're waiting. All right. Weapons here, I wonder where they are. That's funny. I wonder what in the world could have happened to them. What's the matter, devil? It's Larkin, killed by a poison arrow. What's happened to my uncle and Byron? We've got to find them. Arrows shot by a starry warrior. Are you sure of that? Be sure, Master. Look. But Mr. Larkin told us that the Astari tribe was friendly. We've got to get to the Astari village at once to find out what's become of his safari. Come on. Moku, go look for a canoe or a raft. Yes, Master. And take Devil with you. You and I go look this way and see what we can find. What do the drums say? They're calling all Istari to worship the Fire Princess. The Fire Princess? Who's she? The story goes that many years ago, the Astari tribe was ruled by a woman known as the Fire Princess. They believed her to be a goddess, a descendant of the sun. She ruled them wisely and well, and they became all-powerful in the jungle. Believing her work on Earth accomplished, she vanished and returned to her seat in the sky, after promising them that one day she would return. But surely you don't believe that legend. Of course not, but the natives do. That's why whoever calls herself the Fire Princess now can take advantage of them. She may be responsible for Larkin's murder and the Safari's disappearance. Well, then we must get to the village as quickly as possible. Look, a canoe.
You prisoners, what's the meaning of this? You phantom ghost who walks. That's right. And then drop those spears. No, Fire Princess commands we bring you to her. I'd be taking a chance on your life if I tried to evade them. I'll say you would. Get your hands up and turn around. And who are you? A pickpocket from Brooklyn. Now get in that canoe, both of you. Go on. I supposed to do next? You just wait until the phantom gets here and then go to work. Won't you please change your mind? You know, it's one thing to pretend to be a fire goddess to fool a bunch of natives, but another to deliberately lure a man to his death. You'll do exactly as you're told. And if I don't? Well, in that case, I'll be forced to tell the natives you're nothing but a cheap dancer I picked up in Sapana. They'll only tear you apart. All right, you win. That's better. Now, once the phantom's out of the way, you're going to rule the jungle. And you'll provide me with all the native help I need to build my air base at Zoas. Come in. Well, what is it, Perry? Your men have captured the phantom, and your boats are now near the landing. Very well. You may go now. Well, so far, so good. I'd hoped they couldn't catch him. Bulawaga. Naga. Walla walla. Move up against that tree. Now, young lady, you can come with me. Why are you taking her? To greet her uncle and her boyfriend. You'll meet them all later. Speak for yourself, John.
My people, I have conquered the flames again. Welcome, O Phantom. I have waited many moons for this hour. Now I know the reason for my urge to come here. I, the daughter of the sun, believe that you too are immortal. Phantom is a man who never dies. Prove that to me. Go through these flames and come out unscorched the same as I did. Listen to them. They say you're afraid. The Phantom doesn't dare. I'll do it. With the understanding that after I come out, you'll immediately release my friends. Your request is my command. I am ready. He's one man in a million. after now and what is the mystery about the Istari chief for the answer don't miss the chamber of death the next excitement laden episode of the phantom at this theater next week